It would appear that Tampa, Florida was designed specifically with families in mind. There is an abundance of activities that visitors of all ages and backgrounds can enjoy. And if you have a soft spot for furry friends, you'll be happy to know that Tampa is home to several world-class attractions dedicated to animal care. You can get your fill of nature at places like the Florida Aquarium, the Manatee Viewing Center at Tampa Electric, and Lowry Park in Tampa. Tampa's historic and artistic Ybor City District is the perfect place to unwind after a day of learning about the city's fascinating past at the Henry B. Plant Museum. Although Tampa isn't widely recognized for its beachfront, that doesn't mean you can't soak up some rays. Clearwater Beach, Treasure Island, and Honeymoon Island State Park, some of the most beautiful stretches of Florida coastline, are all within an hour's drive of Tampa. Don't forget your swimwear and sunscreen if you plan on taking a trip soon. Welcome to Hotels and Cities, the channel that focuses on great places to visit and worthwhile travel destinations for you and your loved ones. Before we jump into our video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon to always be updated on all things travel. Now let's get into it. Tampa Riverwalk Tampa's two and a half mile river walk follows the Hillsborough River. Visitors can bike, walk, rollerblade and enjoy public art while visiting restaurants, stores, parks, playgrounds and attractions like the Florida Aquarium and Glazer Children's Museum. Visitors say the trail is clean. Locals and tourists love watching Florida Gulf Coast sunsets on the Riverwalk. The Riverwalk is accessible for most riverside locations. Next up, the Columbia serves the best Cuban sandwiches. The Cuban sandwiches' origins were disputed. Some say Tampa, others say Miami. But if you've never had a Cuban sandwich, then you're missing out on one of Florida's best culinary experiences. A Tampa-style Cuba sandwich has two slices of fresh artisan Cuban bread, ham, pork, salami, Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard. After stacking those ingredients, they are pressed until toasty and juicy. Cuban coffee is a must-try with your Cuban sandwich. Florida's oldest restaurant, the Columbia, is the best place to try these must-try dishes. The Columbia began serving good food in Ybor City in 1905. Moving on, we go to Skipper's Smokehouse Shows. Since 1980, Skipper's has booked top blues, rock, bluegrass, folk, and reggae acts. Enjoy fried alligator tail and key lime pie with a cold red stripe and a Grateful Dead cover band. This family-friendly restaurant is very chill. Our next stop is our major Work Heights Public Market Shopping. This 22,000 square foot industrial market is Tampa's footy and architecture hotspot. The 1910 building stored and maintained Tampa Electric streetcars. The space maintains an urban feel and has many dining options. There are restaurants, cafes, retail shops, and a rooftop bar. Cooking classes and wine tastings use the show and tell workshop. Summer concerts, movie nights, and more are also available right outside. The Riverwalk makes the property easily accessible. Parking is cheap and free. Next up is the family friendly Bush Garden a 297-acre garden. Bush Gardens has over 12,000 animals, live shows, restaurants, shops, and games, as well as thrill rides and attractions. The Bush Gardens predates Disney World and is cheaper. Featuring the Edge of Africa and Serengeti Plain and Miobi Reserve animal exhibits can be found here. There are many educational and entertaining options as well. Moving on, we go to the Tampa Theater live performances. Live performances, film screenings, and plays are great at the Ornit Tampa Theater. The world's most elaborate theater was built in 1926 by John Everson. It was designed with a 1,400 pipe Wurlitzer organ. The ceiling features 99 light bulbs and resembles a Mediterranean garden with flowers and gargoyles. These represent the nighttime stars. If you can't attend a show here, consider touring the theater. Featuring a 90-minute balcony to backstage tour and show off the Wurlitzer organ and discusses the stories 
art, and architecture that made it a national register of historic places. Moving on, we go to the Florida Aquarium. Meet marine life. The Florida Aquarium houses over 14,000 aquatic animals on downtown Tampa's southeast edge. Featuring stingrays, eels, and sea turtles that live here, it will probably take you at least a few hours to explore its entirety. The touch tanks let kids touch starfish, stingrays, and small sharks. Jellyfish exhibits are also noteworthy. If the aquarium doesn't tire your kids out, the splash pads, geysers, dump buckets, and spray zones will, so don't forget to bring a towel with you. Next stop is the Tampa Electric's Manatee Viewing Center. Tampa Electric's Manatee Viewing Center is unique because it's free to visit. It's a great place to stop and watch a majestic manatee swim through the Tampa Electric water plant. Manatees seek warmth here when the bay gets too cold. When you're not staring into the water, visit the center's mangrove exhibit, butterfly garden, and gift shop. Don't forget to bring binoculars to climb the 50-foot viewing tower for a breathtaking view. Moving on, we go to Big Cat Rescue Teaching Cats. This is just northwest of the Tampa Zoo, and it's much more than that. It's a sanctuary where you can learn about bobcats, tigers, cougars, leopards, lynx, and house cats. It is such a huge sanctuary. The enthusiastic, knowledgeable tour guides will delight cat lovers. Night tours let you see animals at their most active, being the nocturnal animals that they are, cats are most active then. Next up, explore the Tampa Bay History Center. This Smithsonian-affiliated Tampa Bay Museum teaches about Florida's first inhabitants. The 60,000-square-foot History Center on Tampa's waterfront proudly displays 12,000 years of Florida's history. Learning about Florida's history has never been easier with three floors of educational films, artifacts, photographs, fossils, and interactive displays. Family-friendly interactive displays and friendly staff make this center a hit with kids. After learning about Tampa's cigar industry and Ybor City's immigrant communities, don't forget to stop by the Columbia Cafe for some Spanish and Cuban food. The Glazer Children's Museum is also hands-on. Even though Tampa has plenty of kid-friendly attractions, most of them are weather-dependent, so you'll need an indoor backup plan if the skies darken and storm clouds roll in. This 53,000 square foot facility has many interactive exhibits on human anatomy, mathematics, science, and art. This museum is often praised for its cleanliness, but it can get busy on rainy days and holidays, so do plan ahead. Tampa is one of Florida's most popular cities and a top family vacation spot. The Big Guava isn't Orlando, but it sure has plenty of sights and attractions. And that's it for this video on the best things to do in Tampa, Florida. Did you find this video helpful? Hit that like button and share this with your fellow travel buddies. Comment down below which spot among this list you found interesting. If you want to travel like a pro, you'll need the right tools, so don't forget to check out the description below for access to exclusive discounts at hotels, flights, resorts, and must-have travel gear. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to always be updated whenever we have a new video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.